New CDC data indicates that nearly 108,000 people died of drug overdoses last year. That is 50 percent higher than in 2019. About two thirds of last year's deaths involved fentanyl or other synthetic opioids. New Six's Lauren Cervantes joins us now live from downtown Orlando with the concerning trend, Lauren. Lisa, you said the key word, fentanyl, and the CEO of Project Opioid tells me that it is the number one contributor in this epidemic. We're seeing overdoses skyrocket among middle schoolers, high schoolers, all of our vulnerable communities, and fentanyl is behind nine out of 10 of the deaths that we see in our community. The CEO of Project Opioid, Andre Bailey, says the latest numbers from the CDC set an all-time record when it comes to drug overdose deaths. Last year alone, over 107,000 Americans died. And he says it's largely in part due to fentanyl, which he says can be present in any drug found on the streets. Telling News 6 it's hitting the younger population the hardest. Most of those are young people. High schoolers are dying in record numbers. Bailey says they work with law enforcement, including the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, to combat the growing crisis. News 6's Justin Warmus sat down with Sheriff Dennis Lima to talk opioids for an upcoming edition of The Weekly. The sheriff saying now is the time for parents to educate their kids on the deadly drug. We know that, you know, historically, um, graduation is a time where people go out and they celebrate and they do different things. And I think now is the perfect time for parents to re-engage and have conversations that extend well beyond the old alcohol and marijuana. Bailey tells me they've launched an educational campaign to inform families and parents of the dangers of fentanyl. For now, in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.